guys I'm back with another damn video and this right here is the old 6.5 Grendel uh, this was a knee-jerk reaction build I, I wanted to build a 308 and had been looking out for 308 lowers and uh, after I got tired of that shit I showed up at the gun shop I usually go to asked if they had 308 lowers he said no so I said, to hell with it, bought an arrow precision lower. The uh, reason I did that was because I had some spare parts left over from my previous builds. And uh, just thought, well, hell, I might as well build one right now. And this is a knee-jerk reaction. Just figured, shit, I'll just build a 6.5 Grendel. Um, so, you know, bought the lower. It was 65 bucks. Wasn't a blemish lower. He just had it on sale for 65 bucks. And uh, had them Cerakoted, put the uh, lower parts kit in, uh, got my bag lever, and then grabbed the Myad grip. A lot of people like the uh, Mo Plus. Uh, I put the Mo Plus on my AR-47. It's a good grip, uh, but when it's hot and sweaty, I don't like the way that feels. So grabbed the Myad grip, and uh, the stock... I grabbed two UBRs for 215 bucks a piece. It came with the buffer and the spring. Uh, so you don't have to buy a buffer tube, you don't have to buy a castle nut, you don't have to buy a base plate. Um, so, you know, it is pretty expensive. And in my first video, I was like, man, who the fuck would want to spend $250 on a stock? But I can honestly tell you, dude, this stock is just top notch. Badass stock. There's no wobble, no play. You got a constant cheek weld. Um, I like the color match or mixing or whatever. Um, I'm very impressed with this stock. I'm glad that I bought this stock. So if you guys are on the fence about getting a UBR, do it. You you will not be disappointed. Um, I got the uh, storage covers here. You know that'll keep my earplugs in there. Um, a lot of people like to take those out. For the tactical look but I kept them on there uh, now for you guys that want to know about the uh, Grendel ammunition working out of the P mag it works I stuffed five rounds and 30 round mag didn't want to press the issue but it did work uh, I'm gonna shoot a little bit more after I get me a an official Grendel mag I got that from ACS uh, those guys have done really well with the 7.62 mag, so I'll try them again with the 6.5 Grendel. Um, as far as the upper, this is the first time I've ever done a upper where I put everything together. So I started with Air Precision's uh, M4E1 enhanced upper. And i got to tell you, man, the, this lower and upper obviously are made for each other. Uh, it fits very well, perfectly. Um, there's no wiggle, no wobble. It fits tight, man, and it feels good. It looks awesome. Uh, it's got this barrel nut attached to the upper, permanently attached. Now, uh, the reason this is kick ass is because you stick your damn barrel in there and you don't have to line up your gas to. You stick your barrel in there, get your barrel nut or the uh, screw that screws it on there and tighten it down to about 45 foot pounds. Uh, the gas tube has a port that's already aligned with the barrel nut and uh, you just put your, put your uh, gas block and gas tube, line that shit up, put it on your barrel, tighten it down, you're done, good to go. And this shit came together in five minutes. It was easy. Uh, and I got this off Granite Ridge Outfitters or, or whatever, yeah, I think Granite Ridge Outfitters, good company to buy from. Uh, fast shipping and this was not a uh, they didn't screw you over or anything like that a lot cheaper than Aero Precision's uh, website and a lot cheaper than you can get them elsewhere um, so I lucked out came across that website grabbed this upper receiver and the handguard now as far as the barrel BCG uh, gas tube and block I got all that shit from Odin Works um, they had a good deal on a 6.5 Grendel barrel and uh it's a match grade barrel, supposedly. Uh, they give you a guarantee of one MOA. I mean, who knows if it's going to shoot consistently in one MOA or not, but I grabbed a match barrel. I've never jacked around with a match barrel. 
Uh, so I'm interested to see what kind of grooves, what kind of shit's going to happen with this barrel. Uh, but I can tell you one thing. It looks of quality. It's heavy as hell. Uh, it was stainless steel. I had the guys at the gun shop Cerakote that FDE. They did a fantastic job of doing that. And then I put that KVP linear comp on the, uh, on the end here. And I can tell you right now, man, you don't need earplugs when you're shooting this gun because it pushes... It pushes the sound forward. Uh, so on that AR-15, the original one that I built, I put a, I don't know what kind of muzzle brake it was, but it feels like a damn flashbang blows up in your face. Uh, this one pushes the sound down range, and it's pretty badass. Aesthetically, it looks pretty kick-ass, too. Uh, so... You know, got the rail covers, rail ladders, decked this shit out, tricked it out. Only problem I have now is I got to get a scope for this thing. Now, I'm eyeballing a Monarch, Nikon Monarch scope. It's going to be 4 to 16 power. I think 16 power is going to be enough for me to stretch this bastard out to 1,000 yards. I mean, I may try 1,500. Shit, dude, I don't even know. That's a long ass ways away. Um, and my eyes are so damn bad that I got to have some magnification. Uh, I know some guys say that they can do it with 12 power, whereas I may not be able to. I'm going to get a 16 power. See how that scope does. Uh, one, I was eyeballing some Vortex scopes. I still am kind of on the fence about those. I don't know if those are any good. Uh, I've been reading a lot of reviews saying those are... Some, some people say they're better than Nikon, some do not. So... I'm not real sure yet. I will be putting a scope on this uh, gun, and I'll have another video for you guys. Uh, when I do, I have a range report. Um, but that video will come next. Uh, the next video will be at 308 if I can ever get that shit put together. Uh, so, just want to update you guys. This was like a knee jerk reaction build. I think it came out pretty awesome. Pretty kick ass. Oh, and for you guys that don't know, for the air precision enhanced upper receiver, they got a little hole that this goes into the uh, the barrel nut. So it is a real bitch trying to get that thing out because it's it, there's a uh, a screw, an Allen ring, an Allen key screw that screws that thing tight down so it doesn't pop off. So I mean, you got to work that some bitch off and then work that rod out and then put your Strike Industries uh, dust cover on there. Um, and then another another weird thing is, I don't think you guys will be able to see this, but there is a screw right there. Most of the times those are roll pins that hold the uh, Ford Assist in, and it's a screw. So it makes it easy to interchange. I've never, I've never fucked around with changing out the uh, Ford Assist on, this, on any gun, uh, but who knows, I might change it out later. But anyway, want to update you guys, let you know what I was up to. Uh, I'll have another video for you when I put this day of scope on here and see what kind of groups we get. Stay tuned.